Hello everyone, this is Aaron Fitch from ATF Gaming, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat Evolution. Today we have a race at Bristol where we are going to try to defend our win that we got at the Spring Bristol race. Last episode we had the race at Watkins Glen and we finished 5th. We gained a spot in the standings and all that fun stuff. We're going to keep the sponsorship objectives as they are. Um, we, uh, I should be able to lead a lap, shouldn't I? So we're going to bump that up there. So this would be maximum sponsorship objectives. Um, we're still a ways away from upgrades. Yep. We're still almost $200,000 away from the next upgrade. So we're going to head to the racetrack, see how we do. Um, I'm looking forward to this race. Hopefully we can defend our win. And maybe this time we can get it a little more legitly instead of wrecking everybody to get our way there. But um, if that's what we have to do, then I'll do it. But still, I would like I would like to um, not be as uh, aggressive as I was last time, and maybe have a smoother race. But I will not object if I'm in a shot to be in a shot to get a win. I will not um, object being too aggressive. Got to remember my patented Bristol line here. Go down low, let it get high, and then dip down low. Especially for qualifying, that works really well. Obviously in the race that doesn't work too well, but... Oh, I messed that up. I messed that up. We'll, we'll do another lap or two. But I, I gotta make some adjustments to this car. It doesn't feel the greatest. And plus, we gotta uh, up the tire wear because, you know, that can be a problem here at Bristol. I mean, even with that screw up on that lap, we managed to be ahead of two people. And I screwed up again. But we're a little faster. I'll give it one more go. Before we make some adjustments. Dang it, three and four is, is where I seem to have the issues. But we improved again. I'm going to make some adjustments. Going to come on the pit road and I'll see you guys on the other side. Here we are coming back to start another qualifying lap. Um, unfortunately, we have some other cars to deal with. So once I get around McDowell here, I'll definitely be able to run a little better line. But who knows, maybe this will be faster. Uh, that definitely wasn't. And now we got freaking Matt DiBenedetto on our way. I don't think we'll be able to improve on this lap. I didn't have enough time to make all the adjustments that I wanted on that pit stop. So I might make another stop just to finish my adjustments. But you guys won't see that. I'll see you guys in round two. Alright, we're just going to sim straight to round two. We qualified sixth in round one, but let's see if we can improve on that. Maybe we can get a clean lap in on lap two with these adjustments and see how how they fare. Obviously, these adjustments are geared more towards race trim since I don't have the option being in normal normal physics mode to adjust the car outside of in qualifying. So that's why I do that all the race trim stuff here. But of course Jimmy Johnson's going to get out in our way. And now we got Stuart here. He might get in our way as well. Oh, that was better than our lap last time. And that was a pole. But we still got one more round to deal with. That that was that was at least three times better than our lap in round one. If we can run a similar lap, I think we're going to be in good shape for the pole.
Oh, I'm at, I'm at that corner up. I don't know what I was doing there. But it was still fast, and we're on the pole for the race. By how much? Not much. We, only about four hundredths of a second. But I'll turn it over to Rick Allen. It's Bristol, baby. Fierce clashes and heart-stopping finishes are both hallmarks of one of the most popular races in NASCAR. And if history's any indication, the Bristol Night Race is guaranteed to entertain guests with yet another epic battle inside the last great Coliseum. All right, here we are, starting on the pole. What a beautiful view to have before the race starts. Night race at Bristol. Let's try to get out to an, a lead here. Let's try to get around Keselowski. We got clear of him, but we we got to we got to pull away from him a little bit, and then I can uh, not have you guys watch the entire race because this is probably going to be a longer race. But I'm not really pulling away from you guys. My qualifying line doesn't really help too much in race trim. I hit the wall there, unfortunately. That, um, that almost helped me. I, I still pulled away that, on that corner. Just a little love tap with the wall. Nothing, nothing too bad. But yeah, I'm not I'm not pulling away from these guys, unfortunately. But once we hit lap traffic, hopefully I can maneuver through lap traffic a lot better than these guys. But yeah, they're they're a little faster than me on corner exit. I pull away from them big time on entry, but. On exit, and the, well, and in the middle too. They they definitely pull closer to me. Carlo. All right, here comes Kozlowski. We got a battle for the lead now. For some reason, the fans are cheering for Kozlowski passing me. Um, that's very rude, fans. I don't know why you would like Brad Keselowski more than me. But again, uh, the big thing is going to be how we maneuver lap traffic. That'll, that'll be the big telltale sign about about how we how this race will be won. Um, there's some pit stops, and you know whether cautions come out at bad times or stuff like that. So. That's going to really dictate how things are going to go. But we're sticking right with Keselowski. He's hitting the end of the lead lap now. So we'll definitely be working with some lap traffic now. We're going to try to go high on McDowell. Yep, he's already getting held up by Ryan Ellis. And I'm going to try to get underneath him here, but we, we're going to have a log jam of Eric Jones and Casey Mears. I did not mean to get into Jones for that long of a period of time, but that's what happened. And now Keselowski is going to get stuck behind Jones. So we're back in the lead. We'll maybe lead a couple more laps. we got another big conglomeration of cars right here. For some reason, Martin Truex Jr. is way back here. Why did I go for this line? I should have followed Busher. Because everybody went for the outside line that time. Sorry, Busher. Don't cause a caution, please. Thank you. But yeah, two Rex was way back here. That's not good. That's not realistic at all. Oh no, I spun two Rex out. That's not good. But again, it doesn't seem like that cause the caution, so that's good for us. I really don't want to caution. I want to move through lap traffic and go go through the pit stop cycle all in the green. Yeah, 
man, I, I'm struggling on the high line right now. Sorry, Biffle. Don't know why you're still smoking, but whatever. Oh, I forgot to mention this when I passed him, but I heard Brian Scott's going to run a couple of Xfinity races coming out of retirement. Oh, no, we got Keselowski right on us again. And here's Truex that we just wrecked a couple laps ago. Here's Almondinger and a new skin, uh, scheme that looks like the Waffle House scheme. I really like that added color to it. Obviously, it doesn't look very, you know, Richard Petty like, but it's still a cool, cool little touch. You, you can't have the same, same color, color scheme. Wow, I, I couldn't word there for a second. You can't have the same color scheme every single week. You got it. You got to mix it up a little bit. That's what I was trying to say. Oh man. Alright, we pulled away from Keselowski again, but now that we are away from lap traffic for the most part, I'm sure he'll close back in. What is the fuel mileage looking like? We still got about 30 laps before we absolutely have to pit. Um, we still got about mm, 15, no, 20 laps until halfway. Somewhere in between those two numbers. So, and how are the right front looking? Terrible. And now Keselowski is right behind us again. Hopefully we'll get the extra bonus point for leading the most laps by this point. But here comes Keselowski again. He'll probably take the lead from me again. But we got some more lap cars to deal with. So now I kind of get to see how he's going to maneuver through things. But the fans are cheering for me again, but... There goes Kozlowski. I think I led that lap. I'm not sure. I don't know what it is about the AI and lap cars, but they just can't seem to do do it. <laughs> it's like they follow the lap cars so much. I'm going to back up a little bit because he's going to go underneath Menard. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry, Paul Menard. Drive underneath you here. Yeah, we're not as fast as Keselowski, but we 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 uh, maneuver lap traffic a lot quicker than he does. But once he gets out, uh, he's definitely a lot faster than us. But I think it's just going to be me and him um, for this race, assuming that nothing stupid happens. Um, I can't remember who it was that I repped for the win at uh, the first race. It might have been Matt Kenseth. If I recall correctly. Not sure. But we're going to maybe split Austin Dillon three wide. No, I'm going to lift off and I'm going to go underneath him. That was a better strategy. But he's getting held up by Danica and Casey Mews. So we're going to take advantage of this. We're passing Mews for the second time as well as McDowell. And it looks like Kozlowski's getting held up again. Which is good for us. Um, but I'm, I I can really feel my right front tire wearing. Yeah, it's getting pretty ugly. Um, we still got plenty of laps before we need to pit for fuel. But um, we're getting pretty close to the halfway mark. So I really got to start taking care of my tires better. But Keselowski is still being held up in that little group right there. So this would be the time to maybe take an easy on the tires a little bit. See if I can make it past halfway. Because I don't want to be the first one to pit and then a caution comes out. That that has happened to me so so many times on these short tracks. When I pit because my tires are wearing out. And they, they don't pit until they need fuel. So that's why it's so frustrating. But yeah... Oh, Edwards even passed Kozlowski. That's not how much trouble Kozlowski's having with lap traffic right now. We're going to pass better than that again. We're going to follow Kane through. We're reaching the part of lap traffic where these guys are pretty close to us on speed. You see Austin Dillon right behind us. He's been hanging with us ever since we lapped him. 
yeah, the right front tire is completely gone right now. But nobody's coming down pit road. Nobody. So I really got to stick it out in the long run. Because we're going to be halfway, not next time by, but the time after that. Yeah, I got to be careful. Um, Edwards is a, a second and a half away, so I can definitely uh, err on the side of caution. But Austin Dillon's going to get back ahead of us. He'll get his lap back for the time being. He, he'll probably run away because I'm trying to be so conservative on the tires right now. Hit the wall, not not too consequential. But yeah, our, our right front tire is shot, but I'm really trying to stick it out to see if we can A, get a caution before, or B, until I see other people down pit road. Because that was halfway right there, and now Carl Edwards is already right there. Oh man, I'm going to go one, maybe two more laps, but I have to get new tires. Absolutely have to get new tires. So here's Kozlowski. We are on the front stretch pit road, like we always are. Because we're in the same pit box every single time. Um, not this time, but next time. That gives us a few few extra laps on, on this set of tires before we go to the next set. So we are coming in now. Coming in now. So we got to slow it down to 30 miles per hour at this white line. Alright, not the best entry. Loosen the car up a little bit more. Definitely got to put some more in the right front. Four tires fuel and hopefully a caution doesn't come out because that, that means that's, that's going to completely ruin our race right there. But I could not go any longer on this set of tires. I had to come in. And nobody else is coming in yet. So we got to A, hope that there's not a caution. And then B, not cause a caution. So. We also got to maybe take care of our tires a little better this time. But we are... Only one lap down. We did manage to stay only one lap down. That's a good thing. And we are in 28 since we were so far ahead of everybody. We we're the only one who's pitted and we're still in 28th position. So some of these guys are for position. So I don't think they'll turn rubber banding on. Um, but I've been surprised before by the rubber banding. I mean, I expect to be much faster than these guys, so I can't really tell if, if rubber banding would be on or not. But remember, we can't cause a caution, so we got to be careful here. Sorry, Stuart, you're in the way of progress, so I gave you a little tap there. And we got McDowell, he's still... A lap down to us, a two lap down, two laps down to the leader by now. Oh, I hope this all cycles through without a caution. That would be really nice. But I mean, NASCAR Heat Evolution doesn't usually like to do that for you. Because we're we're still 16 cars away from getting our lap back. So we gotta we gotta tough it out until pit stops happen. This is a big mess right here. I, this is a big mess. I'm scared of this big mess. I do not want to caution. And if I spend one of these guys out, they're going to wreck each other. Go low and get by all of them at once would be fabulous. And that's what I did, thank goodness. Well, sort of. Larson's now in the way of progress. But we'll be able to get around Ellis. Larson, you're in the way. Still there. Let me go. Stay high. 
I hate, I hate running the high line up. I know it's the faster line, but I really hate it. Well, it's the faster line in real life. At least it was before they put that tire compound down on the low line. I wonder if they'll do that again. They should do that, but they should... Oh, no. They should do that, but they should maybe not rub it in as much. Because it seemed like by the end of the race that the low line was the only line. So they, they've really got to, you know, kind of be gentle with it. And not, not make it so good that that's the only place you can run. But remember, we are making up positions here. Almarola's on our lap, but still nobody is pitted yet. Oh, Clint Boyer is. Not Clint Boyer, uh, Greg Biffle, gosh. So he's the first person I've seen stop. I almost wrecked Ricky Stenhouse. That would have been bad. All right, Almarola is for position here, if I can get around him. How are we taking care of our tires here? Not great. Not great. But we've got 17 laps to go, so hopefully we'll be able to stick it out. But, I mean, these guys just aren't pitting. They're waiting until the end of the fuel run. Don't hit Danica. If you hit Danica, there will for sure be a big caution. Because Danica just always manages to find her way into big reps. Here's Logano. I felt like we were racing him earlier. That might have been at, the, at Watkins Glen. I'm recording this right after Watkins Glen. I don't know why I decided to follow Busher into this mess. Yeah, nobody is pitting. This is really concerning how long they're going. They're going to have so much fresher tires than I will. But it looks like they're starting to come in now. So I'm going to kind of ride the high line here and hope that I can avoid all the cars coming in and coming out of pit road. Remember, no caution, Darren. You still got to... Still got to not... Oh no, 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 no. He's he's the leader, so now you got your lap back. Here's Hamlin coming out. Um the fact that he's coming out with or near me is a little concerning. Looks like Kenseth came out already. So we might have lost time on this pit stop, unfortunately. That's a little uh, upsetting. We might not be able to contend for this win, but we should still get another good finish here. But yeah, we're still slow. At, oh no, that's a wreck. Uh, that should be a wreck, but it's not. Let's see, so there was Jimmy Johnson. We're in ninth right now, and I think I think everything cycled through. No, we still got a couple more. Now we're in seventh. This might be completely cycled through now. Yep, I think it is. So we're set. Oh, one more. Sixth. We are sixth. That should be the end of the cycle. So we lost. Well, we were third when we came in. We were losing ground, so we we only lost three positions. But our tires are a lot more worn than the other guys now, so... Unless if we get a caution where I can rack a bunch of people, and uh, we're not going to win this race. But our top five is definitely the goal currently. Um, well, I don't think we're going to be able to get back up there without um, without a caution. How many laps do we have left? Six, six at the line? Yep. But yeah, I, I kind of knew that we weren't going to win this race without some lucky cautions, but 
Um, if I had been able to build a bigger lead and everybody had uh, done pit stops earlier, I think I would, would have been in good shape. But as of right now, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to win. Um, we're not even going to get a top five at this rate. Somebody's pitting again. Eric Jones, why are you pitting again? But yeah, once we started losing ground on those tires, um, I knew we weren't going to win this race. I'm going to try not to purposely bring out a caution. Um, accidentally, who knows, but I'm pur not going to purposely bring out this caution. But there's some smoking up ahead here. But it looks like uh, everything was resolved there. Low. 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 Sorry there, Eric Jones, you came out right in front of me. Car ahead is pitting this time. Why are all these guys pitting again? This is weird. Um, obviously nobody who's in position for a good finish is pitting again, and Hamlin's now three seconds ahead of us, but... How many laps left? One more time. One more time. So let's try to stay ahead of Harvick. He's catching up to us a little bit. But all these guys are pitting multiple times. That's really confusing, but whatever. Somebody's won the race. It's not us, unfortunately. We're going to finish sixth. But that's good. We should, we should have achieved all of our sponsorship objectives. That's the same speed rating we got at Watkins Glen. I wish you could use speed points for something. It doesn't seem like you can use speed points for anything. So who won the race? I, I missed that part of it. Carl Edwards won the race over Keselowski, Bush, Kenseth, Hamlin, and us. So another good finish. Should be another good payday. Yep, that's a really good payday for us. 63 grand. Uh, we might move up another spot in the standings. That would be nice. Uh, we did. We passed Austin Dillon. So we're technically in the top 16 now, which is great. Obviously, it doesn't matter. As long as we stay in the top 30, we'll be fine. But Next week, we got Michigan. That's going to be terrible. Um, and then Darlington should be okay. We're getting pretty close to the chase, guys. We got Michigan, Darlington, and Richmond, which will all happen next week. And then I will talk to you more about um, how we're going to handle the chase races after that. Uh, because it might be slightly different because the chase is starting on the those weeks that I have that I'm going to be gone. So I might handle things a little differently depending on how many episodes I end up getting recorded before I leave. So, but I will talk about that more in my channel update video in in a couple days probably. Maybe, no, I'm not sure. There will, there will be a channel update video that explains all of this later. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more content from ATF Gaming, be sure to hit that red subscribe button. It really means a lot to me, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.